Hey everybody. Uh, we've been out and about a little bit lately. Uh, last weekend we were out uh, or down visiting my parents for the day and so our diaper bag's been getting some unusual use like extra things packed in here and stuff so every so often I like to just take everything out and put it back in just to make sure that everything is in pockets where it's easy to access and stuff like that so um, I thought it would be a perfect time to do a what's in my diaper bag video for you. Um, so this is a JJ Cole brand diaper bag. This fun um, quatrefoil design. Um, I like the like classiness of the gray with a little bit of you know fun pop of green but it's still like trendy. This one doesn't I mean it looks like a diaper bag but it doesn't look you know like a kid's bag like it it looks like it's designed for the mom to be carrying um, which I kind of like. We have another um, bag that we use um, it's a little bit it's got like animals on it um, that one goes to the uh, babysitter. So everything in there, it stays packed for the babysitter. And then this is the one that we use that when we're on about. So let's get started. Uh, the very first thing that's always important is the actual diaper stuff. So I use one of these um, two pocket wet bags. Both sides, like it's a wet dry bag because you can put dry stuff in one side, but both sides have PUL. So. Um, I had two of these and found I needed more, so I, I bought a second set. And what I actually do is I keep everything I need for the change in here, so that all I have to do is grab this part out of the diaper bag, bring it with me to the bathroom with her, obviously, and we're good to go. So in here goes the little change mat. This came with the bag, you know, so it matches, and it just folds up nice and small. I probably didn't need to unfold that. You know what a change mat looks like. So that goes in here. I'm keeping it all in the front pocket. And then I use the back pocket, the bigger section, for um, like the dirty stuff. A pack of wipes. We just use like regular, and I don't even know where this pack came from. Uh, but we use disposable wipes when we're out and about. Um, just because I think it's easier, they're slimmer, I don't have to you know, go to find water, wet anything. Um, and we use disposable wipes with a poop. So we're using them like half, hey, the third of the time anyway, so I figured we have them, we may as well just bring those with us. So whenever we have a package that's like a little bit more empty, like if this pack runs out, then I'll grab whatever's in the changing table and replace that one with a big pack. So that I have like less than half of a package so it doesn't take up too much space. Then, on most trips, I'm just going to bring one diaper with me. Um, if it's we're planning to be out for more than three or four hours, maybe I'll pack a second one, and if it's going to be all day, I'll pack up to maybe six or so. Um, and But for most trips, I'm not even planning to even really use the one. Um, and if I do, I'm not really going to need two. So I uh, just bring you know, one diaper, and then I actually bring a liner. These are the fleece liners that I did a whole video about. Up there. Um, I just fold it in half and tuck it in here so that when you open it up it's there ready to you know be laid up pretty and used. Um, so I just find that yeah if I had this liner floating around in the bag it would be too much of a pain but having it in there is perfect. So that goes in there. And then I also bring around um, one Sposy for backup you know if it doesn't take up like any space. So it's fine to have an extra one in here for backup. And then also, we've been using disposables for overnight. So the other thing, as we'll get to it, I bring some jammies along. So that's everything that's in here. Like I said, I can just pick this up and carry it with me into the bathroom, and it's good. So this goes inside the bag. All right, this has like four inside pockets. So in one of those, uh, we've got her uh, sound protective headwear. I don't know why. It keeps coming apart like this, but um, we barely ever use these. I think if we tried to at this point, she probably wouldn't care for it because it's been such a long time and she's not used to them. But um, I find that the one time we, the one time that we really needed them, we went to a Christmas party and we had just gotten them, but they were at home and my husband had to run all the way home to go get them. And then somehow he ended up without the house key and he had to 
from back to it was a mess. And so I vowed that I would never be cut out again. So I keep them in here. They don't take up that much room. And I like knowing that they're there in case we're in a place that's loud and we decide that she needs them. Um, and they're just, you know, the headphones for babies. Little ear, ear protectors. Yes. <laughs> she's right here playing with pacifiers. For some reason, she's like obsessed right now with pacifiers. Even though she's never, she hasn't used them since she was like three and a half months old. All right, uh, let's see. We've got butt paste. Uh, this is the old tube before we replaced it, so it's like smaller and lighter, and um, it's in there in case she needs it. And actually, that should be in the diaper bag section. It wasn't previously, but that's why I'm doing this, rearranging. Uh, this little container came in a little set from GGB. Um, and this one currently just has hand sanitizer and a Swiss Army knife. Ideally, it should also have a chapstick, but I'm not sure where that went. But I'm going to tuck that in one of these pockets along with baby sunscreen and mommy sunscreen. I'm very pale. My husband doesn't usually wear sunscreen, but I definitely want to avoid getting burnt and definitely am trying to protect the baby as well whenever we're out and about. So. To that end, we also have her little Easter bonnet. This thing was adorable, um, but it keeps the sun out of her eyes. Um, I did have in there before, like, a warm hat, but I feel like at this point, with the summer, I don't know if I want it in here or not. I better have more things than not enough, right? So, two different hats. Uh-huh. See, we've got, there was a headband in here. This must have been like at one particular outfit. That's not a necessity, but a pair of socks is good to have. So the accessories. Um, here's that pair of jammies. I try, I'm trying to keep a pair of jammies in here because on nights when we're out a little bit later, um, we'll change her into the jammies before we get back in the car to head home because she's able to stay mostly asleep and fall back asleep really quickly if we don't have to change her. And then a change of clothes. This is just like a romper, so it's all in one piece, which is easier uh, than having to deal with pants, um, but you know, there it is. A change of clothes, for most times, if we were going out for longer, like a full day, I'd probably bring two changes of clothes. And then a jacket. Again, also, if we're out late, it gets cold, I definitely want to be able to keep her a little bit warm, and that doesn't fit in the side pocket, but it's in the main compartment here. Let's see, we've got a couple of these came with that same GGB set. Um, there's just some toys in here. These are like little things she got from Easter, and so I stuck them in here so that they're all like in one place. And I can pull them out and say, here, here's your toys. Um, and so they're not like floating around. And this little set is super cute. This came with our Kiwi Crate, hashtag not sponsored. Um, and it's like it opens up and it's got like a little play area and these little toys inside here. And it's just really cute, and I like that it all folds up into a compact little device um, so that it makes it easy if we're in a place where I can have her, you know, sitting on the floor crawling around playing. This is easy to pull out and have it be like a toy that she can hang out with. As opposed to just like one thing to hold in the car, this is like a sit down and play with it toy. Um, and that lives in here. Uh, also, this guy was from that little baby gym that she used to play with when she was super little. His name is Zebra Crinkles, and I clipped that to the outside. Um, I don't know if it's there, and I may as well clip it. And then, in one of the other outside pockets, I keep this handy because, like, half the places we go are church or Bible study. So, this is Agnes's Choose Life Rosary. Choose as in C U E. C-H-E-W-S, Life Rosary. Um, also, hashtag not sponsored, but it's really cute because it's like silicone and she can chew on it and stuff. And I think it's adorable and it makes us look like good parents when we're at church and we can give our daughter a, a rosary. <laughs> so I stick that in an outside pocket so it's easily accessible during Mass. And then, she's going to be mad at me for taking these back. But you've got your Gerber Puffs. These are baby mum mums. There's some other teether ones. These are actually like in several pieces at this point, but these are nice and easy and slim and small and 
convenient to stick in a pocket here so that I have a little bit of a snack if she's fussy in the car or wherever and you know say we're Hi. waiting for our food at the restaurant and she's throwing a fit like it's there and it's easy and to just kind of tuck it in it's like it's like the tampon of baby snacks you just have one just in case tucked in there and then the other outside pocket is where I keep my stuff um, these are the things that I move back and forth from my purse to the diaper bag obviously so my planner and my phone can actually fit nicely in one of these outside pockets and then We've got here a pen, because you never know. And I've lately started to try to remember to keep my um, my prescription sunglasses handy, because with the warmer weather, we're doing outdoor activities in the middle of the sunny day, and road trips and stuff that I want to have those handy. If we're going out somewhere that we're going to be eating out, I make sure to pack her sippy cup, um, a bib, this is the same print as those bags. This was a, a gift from uh, a cousin and it's super cute. It's the World of Warcraft print from GGB. Um, and if we remember her little silicone section plate um, that is like a little bit too big for her high chair, but I just like to have something on the restaurant table if I can remember so that she's not just eating food directly off who knows what wiped with super dirty rag like whatever um and yeah everything else is just whatever the situation I throw a couple things in the bag before we go but this is pretty much the standard what's there um and if we're not doing anything too involved or if we're just running in for an errand I'll often even just leave the bag in the car so I don't have to lug it around and then just know that it's there I can go back and get it if she needs to change but Mostly, it's uh, that's what the bag is mostly used for, is diaper changes. Everything else is just for convenience sake, um, having that in case. So, that is what's in my diaper bag. Thanks for watching. Um, comment below, I want to know what you think is the most useful item or the strangest item that you have in your bag, your daily carry bag, whether that's your diaper bag or your purse. Um, what thing do you find is like weird but you find super useful that you would like never leave home without? Leave that item below in the comments because maybe you'll be giving me some ideas. Um, in the meantime, I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!